there are practically no problem-free cars. So the Baby 206, which appeared in 1998, has a whole bunch of chronic diseases that you should pay attention to when buying a car in the secondary market. However, the functionality and driving performance of a small, purely urban B-Class car, coupled with the acceptable reliability of individual modifications, made it so difficult to find such a car in fair condition from an ad. The 206 serves, as they say, honestly and to the end. However, let's see what problems can arise with it. The body of the French hatchbacks is strong, galvanized. It rusts reluctantly even in places where the paint is chipped. What cannot be said about the Iranian assembly sedans that appeared on the market in 2006? Their problems with corrosion and fitting of body parts were among the main ones. It is worth paying attention to the hinges of the front doors of three doors. Over time, they hang and often need to be replaced. In rare cases, they even miss the rack. On older specimens, we pay attention to the rear wheel arches and the trunk lid. Thanks to aerodynamics, the rear of the car is subject to sandblasting. By the way, when buying, we check the back panel, where the body number, VIN, is stuffed. If the panel has changed, the body turns out to be W slash N, which will cause serious problems during registration. Engine. So, the first to see the light were three and five door hatchbacks, which were equipped with 1.1, 1.4 and 1.6 liter petrol engines, as well as 1.4, 1.6 and 2.0 turbo diesels. The latter were not officially supplied to Ukraine due to the poor susceptibility of our specific fuel. The most widely used gasoline 75 horsepower engine with a volume of 1.4 liters. Whereas 60 horsepower, 1.1L, mini cars were not in great demand due to more than modest dynamic capabilities. And the 109 horsepower 1.6 liter engine seemed to our customers already redundant, as well as the uneconomical and noisy 2.0. It is difficult to make any special claims to the motors. The most popular 1.4 liter is considered reliable and perfectly digests the 90 second gasoline. We recommend him. Tough and economical. The only thing before buying is to inspect the engine for oil leaks on the front wall and the timing belt drive area. Replacing the head gasket or the entire head of the block, which leads from overheating, will be an unpleasant surprise. In turn, the 1.6 liter unit is demanding on the quality of gasoline and noticeably noisier. A 2 liter is more complex and expensive to maintain. On 200 and SIXS with 1.4 engines, you need to keep an eye on the tightness of the right windshield washer nozzle. If the hose is leaking, the antifreeze will corrode the electrical connector of the injection nozzle of the third cylinder from the flywheel. At this point, the injector dies. Peugeot engines require a timing belt replacement at 80,000 kilometers which is very important, since a broken belt on any engine is fraught with very unpleasant troubles and serious expenses. Transmission. The manual gearbox will serve for a long time, you know, change the clutch every 100,000 kilometers, or even more often. But the AL4 machine, the main source of problems, can easily bury even a completely fresh car. The restored unit is expensive, it's scary to talk about a new one today. The automatic transmission is short-lived, its resource does not exceed 100,000 kilometers. Besides, the oil seal often leaks here and, if you miss the oil level, the box will fail long before the indicated mileage. In the manual gearbox, after 40 to 50,000 kilometers, oil leaks were noted along the axle shaft seals. Antidote, installation of protection of the engine compartment from water and dirt. Checking the automatic transmission upon purchase, drive an unheated car. If there is a disorder with the automatic transmission, the emergency mode will turn on or you will feel a shock when switching. The oil level cannot be checked. There are no holes, the level is checked by the device at a certain temperature, through the, well, salon. But to the salon, perhaps, there are at least claims. The only thing is that there is not enough space in the hatchbacks on the back sofa, but the seat upholstery and plastic serve the conscience. Of the interior equipment on specimens manufactured before 2005, the steering column control unit for turns, the driver's airbag wiring and, perhaps, the air conditioning compressor bearing, which can grunt at 150,000 kilometers, are considered vulnerable. When buying from three-door hatchbacks, it is worth checking the operation of the front seat folding mechanism. The mechanism is surprisingly complex and very expensive. Moreover, in the event of a breakdown, it is practically beyond repair and requires replacement as an assembly, from UAH 6000. Moreover, this price is only for the frame, 
without the cost of work on the upholstery of the seat trim. Suspension. The suspension is independent, strong, and grippy, allowing you to get a fair amount of driving pleasure. Replacements here are standard and not particularly burdensome from a financial point of view. Experts, however, advise carefully monitoring the rear torsion beam, the worn bearings of which can easily ruin the beam itself. Even for a used part, you will have to pay a hefty amount, not counting the work. In the front suspension, the stabilizer struts wear out first, after 50 to 60,000 kilometers. A little longer, up to 80,000 kilometers, the rear silent blocks of the front forged levers are able to hold out. Specialists advise to postpone their replacement. As a rule, ball bearings, 1500 UAH per set, are also handed over to a run of 100,000 kilometers, and they are put together with the lever. Shock absorbers can also go the same 100,000 kilometers, 